Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with a Simpler Stocks free video for May 18th, 2016. It's about 23 minutes after the bell. Just got off doing a special one hour segment on the close, uh, just going over the close, going over trading, but basically really going over this also. Something we call pin play strategies, which happen to do with uh, stocks that have big open interest at strike prices and how to scan for them, when to trade them and more. We spent a whole hour talking about those. That's just free. That's part of everything you get on the site. So you know in here we have a $7 trial for 30 days and that includes a number of things and believe it or not, just thanks, thanks. I'm, I'm very thankful for it. A lot of them have been working really well. So what you get in here, you get the free live webinar. You get the chat room where I was on from nine to 10 this morning then I was on another hour today on the close. That's why my voice is hoarse. You get the premium videos where you get a little more in depth than what you're hearing now. You get email alerts, really powerful thing where I show charts, index charts. In fact, I'll show you. Let's make it easy on you. I do stock trades and chart ideas, usually about six to 12 charts a night. Do at least six index charts and unusual option activity when I see it. <clears throat> I'm very picky about the unusual option activity. I know there are a lot of sites that'll pump out like 50 different trade, you know, unusual options a day, but they don't tell you which ones are more likely to work. I try to combine charts and try to combine the actual time and sales and give you an idea of the ones that have a high, higher probability to work, that work. And if you read any of your testimonials, you'll see a lot of them have worked and been great. So that's been pretty exciting about that to show that. Uh, stock trades, like I said, these have worked pretty darn well too. In fact, what's funny about this is you go into stock trades and chart ideas and you go in here and you go over here to like stocks I'm watching. This is what I do, things like this, looking for daily patterns. I try to be somewhat educational at times. And then other ones, some long ideas. That just happened to be the day we went up. Some short ideas, some sentiment indexes, some inexpensive shorts. Why am I showing more short ideas? Because the overall market still looks pretty bad and looks in, in danger of breaking down. So it just seemed prudent to show more short ideas than long. So, you know, if things change, I'll do it the opposite way. So just so you know what we saw today, so you saw the futures down 18, NASDAQ down 53, Russell down 17, bonds not really moving. NASDAQ, uh, Nikkei down all of 55, what is really interesting today was the transports. Now, the whole idea with the transports is that earlier today, they were up 155. And I tried to tell people intraday about this, that when the transports go up like that, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going straight, straight up in the overall market. Because if you put this on the 78 on the right, and you see this whole rally, but then you put it on a longer term perspective, put it on a 195, what do you see? All you're doing is rallying to resistance. Now the whole key on this is I try to show people how to combine the transports and the, uh, the Nikkei and the, uh, the volatility futures and combine those with the ESs. And this is what I saw today, just so you have an idea. ESs, like I've been mentioning, I know I'm a broken record about this, but every time I see this type of topping formation, you usually see a breakdown. Hasn't happened yet, but I'm just showing that. That's number one. Number two in there is that look at the ESs and look what they did on a two minute and look what the transports on a two minute. Very interesting. The transports went straight up right here. What do you see different here? Look at the transports going up. And watch the ESs, this is the futures, the S&P trying to go up. And actually right here, I was on live, I said, if this is the best the ESs can do with the transports doing that, two things have to happen. Either the transports have to really go up for this to finally kick in, or if these wither away, this is gonna fall apart. I think you see which way it ended up going. This withering away, this going down about another 14 points. So you see, we try to combine that. Other thing we try to combine is this. I've been trying to teach everybody this. This is the volatility, the three times volatility uh, ETF. I do not recommend trading it as a long-term strategy. 
I use it just because it seems to chart better than the VIX futures. This is what I want you to see. Look at this when it went up yesterday on the close, even though the market actually closed on its high. Look today when the market was rallying right in this area. Right here when the market was rallying, the UVXY kept going up. So the whole idea is this was showing that there was a rush to buy puts in the SPX. This showed that this was on shaky ground, the ESs. So combined with that they wouldn't rally anyway, the second this broke down, this broke up. And that was a huge tell that we were probably going to have a trend day down. What do you do now? This is the biggest thing that I wanted to show you. ES is on a daily. Still forming the top. That's the good news for the bears. What's the bad news? That here we go again, the 78 being oversold. Every time this ES at the 78 has gotten oversold, we've had these gigantic snapback rallies. Oversold, boom, from 2059 to 2070. Oversold, 2050 to 2065. This oversold was a doozy, 2035 to 2070. The key, if you want this to break down on the left, you need to see the right work off this oversold in a weak way. You want to see this sit here and form a bear flag right here overnight. Remember, this is an overnight index. You would love to see this just work itself in this area and work off this oversold so it has enough energy to then break down and break this big old level. So on the premium edition tonight, we're going to talk about some of the unusual app option activity we saw today of what we're going to be playing tomorrow and showing a lot of setups that we saw a lot of the same bear setups and every single one worked. How do you find those? And that's what we'll be talking about on the premium side. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be with you tomorrow. Take care.